Welcome to a very special episode of Trippy Food. Today in the United States is Independence Day, which marks the day when the British colonists told the crown to stick it. So today, most of you will be out on the beach, you'll be in the backyard, you'll be cooking, you'll be setting bonfires, you'll be lighting fireworks, and you might be thinking to yourself, am, am I celebrating this holiday the right way? Well, according to our founding father, John Adams, this day should be celebrated with a great anniversary festival with pomp and parade, shoes, whatever the hell that is, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, and illuminations, which we know as fireworks. So you're doing it right. And um, I thought to myself, what would be a good way to uh, mark the anniversary of the founding of the great US of A? I have my American flag here, made in the USA because we like quality. That's the United States of Awkward. We have our uh, American mementos here. Um, we couldn't get John Adams, so uh, we got his cousin, Samuel Adams, who was not a brewer, but was in fact a malter, whatever the hell that is, look it up. <clears throat> and I decided, what did we want to do to celebrate the holiday in a way that was uh, suitable for celebrating the United States of America? And I thought, what is more American than hot dogs or apple pie, right? Hot dogs or apple pie, hot dogs or apple pie. I couldn't decide, so I decided to do hot dogs and apple pie. And then I thought, no, I'm gonna do this one better. I'm gonna do hot dog apple pies. So, I couldn't decide whether I wanted to do hot dog apple pies or apple pie hot dogs, so I did one of each. So basically, this is our apple pie hot dog, and this here is our hot dog apple pie. Now, um, so what I did was, for the hot dog apple pie, I made a pie crust, the dough. Um, I put in a smoked pork sausage. Uh, you want to use pork because pork's going to go better with the apples. And then uh, I just basically made your basic uh, apple pie filling. The recipe calls for apples, sugar, butter, cinnamon, uh, really not much else. Now, as far as the apples go, you decide whether you want your apple pie to be more tart or more sweet. Uh, so pick whichever apple you like. I picked actually three. There's some Gala, some Fuji, and another one that I can't even remember. I chopped it up a little bit finer than I would normally for apple pie. Also, instead of using sugar, I used honey, which the colonists would have done, and I pretty much put the pork sausage in the apple pie. As far as the apple pie hot dog, I used a King's Hawaiian roll because it was going to be a little bit sweeter. And then I uh, toasted it in the grill for a little bit because I wanted it to uh, be able to hold up the sogginess of the uh, apples. I got an already made apple pie, a small ready made apple pie. Go to a fine place. Don't go to your local grocery store and get one of the ones in a little plastic package and everything. Make sure you're going to get a good one. And uh, essentially what I did was I baked it in the oven. I took the crust off and I crumbled the crust with a fork took the apples and I chopped them up a little bit finer so that they're kind of like a topping on the hot dog. Put a little bit on the bun, a little bit on the hot dog. I'm thinking this is probably gonna be very much like a Hawaiian puka dog. So I don't know which one should I start with. What do you think? Yeah, the hot dog apple pie. Okay, so here is our hot dog apple pie. Let's just take a section from the middle so we can see how lovely that is inside. Very nice. All right, so let's have a piece of our hot dog apple pie. That's really flaky dough, it just falls right apart. All right, here we go. Hot dog apple pie. This actually works really well. It's kind of like a toad in the hole, like a hot dog baked in a pastry. And the apple is really, really subtle. I think it's good that we use the honey and not too much sugar. It's not overly sweet. The pork in the sausage goes really nice with the apple and cinnamon is nice flavoring. That was really good. I would make that again. So now let's try the apple pie hot dog. And um, the thing about the hot dogs, when you're making the hot dog, I steamed mine in beer, and I used uh, our friend Samuel Adams. Definitely steam it in beer. Don't boil it. Uh, you can grill it if you want. Um, that's fine. I just thought the beer would be a nice touch. And um, here we go. How about my hot dog? Now, I didn't make this pie, so obviously 
It's much sweeter, but it's not bad with the uh, pork sauce. And the sweet bun is really nice. Mmm. Both of those are very good. Much better than I thought. If I had to pick one though, I would pick the hot dog apple pie. So, let's drink a toast. To John Adams, who knew what he was doing. We'll do you right, John. Mmm, that's nice. Have a happy and safe 4th of July. We'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.